morning from Animal Kingdom Lodge. And good morning to that balloon. Okay. So, second full day, Magic Kingdom day, but we are going to Bulma for our breakfast. Going for round one here, Mercy got a bit more than me because I'm going to go back for a lot more. So. This is just, this is the savory round. Yeah. They had pre-made omelets already, so we're going to split that. Yep. And uh, deviled egg and ham and bacon and uh, this is a mint pistachio on watermelon. So I don't know, I don't know what that's going to be like, so I'm going to try it. We went, uh, we went sweet this round. It's your sweet. <laughs> the, uh, the baconing is over, but now it's time for the, uh, the sweetening. I remember thinking this was the greatest bread pudding I had. So, let's see if that... So maybe the greatest bread pudding I've ever had. Mm. That's special. I went for the coconut steel oats and some uh, fruit salad because, sure. But I took way more than I, I intended. It just kind of, like, dish it out. I kind of, I don't know. All right, Marissa, you want to tell the story of the young girl who I did not get to videotape? So we're coming back to our room last night, and there's a girl walking down the hall behind us. She could, must have been about nine, ten, right? Yeah. That sounds about right. And the hallways at Animal Kingdom Lodge are a little confusing. They look alike, they go in different directions, but so the little girl follows us down the hallway we're going down. And I can hear behind her her, her mother yelling to her, that's not the right hallway. Go in the wall, come back here. And the kid's yelling, no, this is the right wall. No, you better, you better get back here right now. That's not the right Fine, the, the kid goes, this is the right hallway, Drunko. <laughs> oh I, I couldn't help it. We laughed like uproariously out loud before diving into our room before we were, you know, spotted. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna put my money on the kid. Yeah. I hope so. I'm gonna put my money on the kid on this one. I, th I think she was right on all counts. So, wherever you are, kid. Still managed to get here 15 minutes before park opening. So we're going right to Space Mountain and then on to Tron. The big ones. Get him, now. Get him done. Go up to Tron. Go to Crystal. Go fast. My boy needs a Space Mountain. Good morning, you big, beautiful castle. You. It's early entry right now, so uh, hopefully we can get in real quick. Cinderella Castle. Now? Right now? <laughs> we got time for that. We, have time. we gotta go to space, baby. We are we're on the land of tomorrow, the land of manana. To your right is the Astro Space Mountain is a thrilling high-speed turbulent roller coaster type ride in the dark that includes sharp turns, sudden drops, and stops. For a safe space flight, you should be in good health and free from high blood pressure, heart, back, or neck problems, motion sickness, or other conditions that could be aggravated by this adventure. Yeah, playing a game where you gotta find a little code. Put in all the little codes here. Conquered space, and now it's time to conquer the grid. It's time to conquer inner space. First, I want to conquer the toilet. <laughs> it's the best part of the ride. So, first, at 7 o'clock in the morning, grab the virtual queue for this and just, like, just got it. We wouldn't pay for lightning lay on this one. But if it's your first time, well, sure. over there at Bay Lake Tower though, if you have a theme park view, you might get to see Space Mountain plus uh, Tron all lit up at night. That's pretty cool. Prepare to be digitized into the world of Tron.
the seat. The chair is nice to be sitting. Arms, feet, legs, and other appendages inside your car. Oh, my appendages. First up, progress city. Walt Disney's amazing dream for a community of tomorrow. The light speeding competition. Remember when this used to be all dirt? Step around them and fill it in for yourself. This gives you the better opportunity for better. Welcome to Monsters Incorporated. You are now standing inside the premier rap factory in the monster world. We've got a schedule to keep and a quota to fill, so keep it moving. You want to hear him say yeah? yeah? Yeah! Okay, this is from someone in Florida. What is Mike Wazowski's favorite dessert? Say what? 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 Ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> so true. And then this is from Chris in North Carolina. Did you hear there was a sale at the Lego store? They were lined up for blocks. <laughs> <laughs> right over to Philharmagic. It's, it's always a nice time. What? Mickey, where's Donald? The orchestra's missing it. It's showtime. Showtime? Well, I gotta open the curtains. Go, me. Come on, Ruby. Who wants that? I can't hear you, Mickey. Oh, oh my gosh. Donald, wake up. It's showtime. <laughs> don't forget the orchestra. And don't touch my hat. Second one there, the tree, or you mean by the, uh, no, it's the on, edge? No, on the actual tree. Oh, okay. It doesn't help that he's a chameleon. So that's five. Seven. And that's seven. So we looked up online. There are ten. And we found eight. Well, we found eight of the ten, which apparently is pretty good because. Some vlog online, the best they did was five. So we did eight. I know. And eight is enough. Is it? No. No. Beethoven's fifth. Dun dun dun. At that last note. As you see, crowd levels are pretty low. Not bad at all. And uh, really, it's warm ish, but there's no real humidity. So. Let's go look and see the uh, destruction at the splash while we're over here, too. Yep. They're doing stuff to it, all right. Oh, here's more, but we're gonna pick up the train station, Frontier Line, which we haven't done in a really long time.
Go back to your home. We have a different home. Just for this time. We'll be a fat home for a while. Our trip around. Alright, so we're going back to the hotel, take a nap, eat half a cookie, and uh, just take a nice leisurely little midday break. We were just here a couple months ago. We've done everything. You know, we were here for two days. So, we're good. We're back at the resort. We did buy an extra chocolate chip cookie at the Norway Pavilion yesterday because we are smart. We also have Bucky's cookies. Oh, so delicious. So much pizza. <laughs> So since the pizza takes about 45 minutes, we went ahead and got mozzarella sticks. But they're called mozzarella triangles because... They're triangles. That, that would explain the whole thing. It uh, looks delicious. This is the way. not quite the fold in half and eat style of pizza uh, one would find in New York. This is a um, gird your loins, get a couple of napkins, and bust out the utensils kind of kind of pizza. And we did not go for the one with the salami and bacon. No, that would have been that would have been too much. That, that's just be silly. Well, dinner was its light, and we are getting old. We're not going to a park, we're going to go back. Cheese. Yeah, that's true. We're filled with two pounds of cheese each. Uh, we're going to go back to the room, take a nice hot shower, maybe even turn in for the night. Who knows? Luckily, we have desserts. So we got that going for us. You know why? Because we planned ahead. Because we're smart. super smart. This is a puppet depicting lovesick youth. Uh huh. He looks a uh, baby. Looks insane. Baby. Baby. Uh, this is, I assume, a uh, psychedelic witch. Puppet depicting a parparic ape. Other well, apes that aren't. And uh, that's a, the, the witch. That says flirtatious girl. That does not look like a flirtatious girl. You know who would love that? This guy. <laughs> School bread for me. Cookie for you. We rubbed each other, now we'll sleep too. <laughs> That's everything I've ever wanted from a vacation. Mm, just hanging out and relaxing. A vacation about recharging the battery. And for some reason, my lottery dream home is always uh, a part of a <laughs> full morning vacation. That or uh, Love It or List It or something like that. But we don't get those channels up here. Well, we get Discovery Channel, we just don't, we just don't watch it, so, uh, yeah. It was a nice, nice day in Magic Kingdom, and uh, again, we're just really taking it easy and recharging as much as we can. So tomorrow is uh, Hollywood Studios. It opens real early, and I really don't know um, what we're doing yet. If we're going to make it there early and then come back. We have a 4 o'clock uh, dinner at uh, Roundup, Rodeo. Roundup Rodeo, so new restaurant's only been open a month in Hollywood Studios. Uh, so do we hit the park early and then come back here, take a nap, and then go back? Leaning towards that, but if we don't wake up, then, <laughs> you know, I don't know what we're going to do. But Rise of Resistance, right? We have to wake up 7 to get pay for those. If that's what we decide to do, we'll just see. Too early to tell, but that's the nice thing. We're taking it nice and relaxed. Good night.